Hey, Chris here, and I'm with Fancy, and we're working on our back foot. So let's tighten up here so we can talk a little bit about her back feet. All right. Now, what I need to, you to know, and we talked about this on the front foot, is that when you do the pads, you need to make sure that you are only doing the center of the pad, that you're not cutting out in the side here because it looks really bad. It'll make the foot look longer. Um, it won't look so compact, won't look so consistent. You'll have a big break in the foot. So always leave the hair here on the side so when you put the foot down, you don't have a big hole right here, all right? That's the first and most important thing. Clean the pads, but don't get carried away. And when you do the bottoms, all right, you're gonna wanna make sure that you pull the hair down, but always comb or brush the hair on top again to make sure that you don't have the wedgie foot. Stay level with the pad, level with the pad, level with the pad. Try not to angle it up. Okay, put the foot down on the table. Come across the toes as tight as you can to shorten them up. You want nice, compact feet. Okay, it's okay to show a little toenail on a Springer Spaniel. It's more important to show a little toenail and keep that foot smushed back than it is to have a long toe, okay? Long toes are a fault. You want nice, high, arched toes. And the only way to get those is to shorten up the front and puff up the middle. So we're gonna fluff up the middle and I'm gonna come across the front with my blending shears hard. Try not to hit your blenders with the nails if you can help it, okay? Knock that down and then leave the tops as fluffy as possible. Just blend those little uh, notches in. Okay, and that is it. You just got to work it. It takes a little time, but just remember, more important to be shorter and up than it is to be flattened down. Because if you flatten them down, then that's going to make the toes look longer. And that's what you want to avoid, okay? It's okay to show just a touch of toenail if you need to. But you can see her feet do look a little bit shorter than they did when we started. So we've achieved our goal. Thanks, the back foot.